In today's video, we are going to deal with some of the steps to affective studies. So in this video, I'm going to share you some of the best 10 steps which are to be followed for your affective studies. And this best 10 steps I have grabbed from so, uh, so many, uh, I have grabbed this best 10 steps from my experienced seniors and I have spoken with my um, lecturers and some of the school teachers and I have grabbed some of the basic famous steps which are most probably followed by everyone. So what are you waiting for? So in this video you are going to learn about the some of the best 10 steps for your affective study to get more marks and to be get more productive and so that you can keep in your mind for a long long period so let's start the 10 steps number one step what you have to do is that put your books and materials down and stretch for a minute or two what I want to suggest in this tip is that whenever you want you are ready for your making of study mood you must have to uh, arrange all your stuff so that you can be clear uh, you can be clear that uh, later on you should not be disturbed I have missed that book I have missed this paper I have missed that um, material so instead of uh, getting disturbed or distract in a mean while what you want to do is that you have to arrange in a first mean of time and you have to relax it you have to breathe yourself and you have to be in a calm so this is the first step in the second step what I want to suggest is that sit down put your head down and take four deep breaths Relax yourself. Inhale, exhale. For four times you do this exercise. You will get a very good concentration spirit in your mind. And you are going to concentrate in a very good mode. This is the second step. The third step which I want to share with you is that. Sit up. Close your eyes. And imagine being in a pleasant place. Where you feel relaxed. Choose a place where you feel very relaxed and uh, a good place can inculcate your mind towards a good study focus. So always choose a very pleasant place where you should not get any type of disturbance or any type of nuisance so that you can be very very uh, concentrated when you are studying and when you are focusing more and more at a time of a period. So next step. Keep your eyes closed and make switch senses. Imagine a situation in which you had an academic success. Congratulate yourself for a job. Well done. Um, actually, I suggest you this tip, but don't be too overconfident in this because uh, we know our uh, spirit of mentality and we know um, what what uh, what I want to say is that we know our stamina and uh, so through our stamina we have to imagine ourselves uh, as an appreciation so that it will boost your mentality of an uh, encouragement and uh, obviously if you encourage yourself in a proper mood definitely you will increase your concentration. Step number five, open your eyes and find your assignment. Say, now I am ready to work for about 15 or 20 minutes. So I want to say is that um, when you are ready to do an, any assignment or you want to do any work or whether you want to study any stuff, you it's better that you have to take a, a relaxation time between a 
uh, mean study because what happens if you st uh, sit for a particular of hours and go on reading 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 your mind will not absorb anything so it's better after every 40 minutes or a half an hour or 50 minutes it's better you take a meanwhile break a short meanwhile break so that it will regenerate your mind and it will boost up more concentrating factor while you're studying step number six read the assignment ask what questions problems or tasks are assigned so it's very uh, basic tip uh, whatever work you take you assign yourself whether you are reading a textbook whether you are doing any project activity assignment think why i have to do what are the uh, procedure are needed for this and uh, how can I make it more attractive uh, for getting more marks? How, uh, what are the basic steps to be followed by me to finish up this task? So you have to imagine and you, it's better that you ha after imagining yourself all these type of questions, write in a piece of rough paper so that it will, uh, um, uh, so that you cannot forget in a later of time and you can go to on that one by one and you can finish up your task in a very sweet short time tip number seven work for 15 to 20 minutes using your books papers or other materials it depends upon person to person for me i take for every one hour as a short break for 10 minutes some people will take after 20 minutes some people after half an hour some people after one and half hour it depends upon students how they want to give a short break while they are studying so it is up to you step number eight take a few minutes to stretch breathe deeply rest your eyes and have a healthy snack or drink when you are uh, in a short break after a one year uh, one hour study for example you can take me when i will read for one hour and after one hour i will take a short break after taking a short break what i do instead of watching or instead of uh, watching tv instead of uh, see, uh, playing with uh, my mobile what i do i will relax with myself having a glass of juice and with some almonds and uh, i will just uh, enjoy those snacks and i will uh, um, be off enjoying those snacks instead of watching those tv and playing with phone it will distract you so instead of that enjoy with your snacks so that it will boost up your concentrate and it will regenerate your mentality towards your studies. Step number nine, review and recognize your effort and progress. Whenever you feel so dull, uh, now I can't do this. Now I can't do this. It's not meant for me. Don't think all those stuff. No one is brilliant in this whole world. Everyone is brilliant with all the stuff. The differences is that it is lack of concentration and lack of your efforts. Show your efforts. When you are losing your efforts and you, when you are losing your recognition, it's better you remember your previous task. I have not performed in my previous test. This time I have to prove myself. I have done very well in my previous test. I have to continue this graph in the next test also so that my appreciation towards uh, towards me and towards my class should be same till my academic year so you have to keep in your mind this all stuff and you have to imagine and you have to always collect those memories when you feel so dull when i can't do this last but not least resume work after finishing all the stuff it's uh, when you are reading when you finish all the tasks it's better once you go through all those things for a uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes uh, type of snap so that it will really uh, show you whether you have done everything or whether you have missed anything or you have skipped anything or you have to complete any more thing so it's better you resume all the work 
for one more time for a 15 to 20 minutes snap and uh, what I want to tell you is that whenever you sit for your studying purpose it's better you have to write some of the points which you want to inculcate in your today's study material so whenever you write down in a piece of paper what you have to finish uh, when you miss anything uh, you can see on that paper yes i have done this i have not done this so that it will make you easy to clear all the tasks in a very effective mode of time so thank you these are the best 10 steps for your effective studies. I hope you really enjoyed the best 10 steps for your effective studies.